Alright guys, we're live. Welcome back again for another video. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. So in this video, we're going to try out for breakfast, for Sunday morning. Um, we're going to try out some fried dumplings. If you're from Jamaica, you know the original fried dumplings. Um, we have about 25 to 30 dumplings here. Why not get to finish them? We have some, some cornmeal porridge. If you can see that, that beauty right there. That we're gonna soon deal with and then a lot of people well jamaicans if you're a jamaican you know you don't know what we call tin boom <laughs> or what we call flash out that's what we have this morning for for breakfast not sure if you can see any of the onions or anything on top you know a lot of people you don't know it as tin mackerel it is thin mucker. Alright. Let's see everything is going well. Starting up the, the chat on, on Facebook. Royal Aquina. Guys, remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel. That's that's very important. Um, you know, I'm always looking out for the support. By the way, guys, the support is going overwhelming. So let's start. Let's start with the, the dumping on top. For those of you who don't know what inside looks like, just steer it. It's it's flour that you need and um, you just you just fry it. It's no hard thing thing to it. In terms of the frying, you, um, you need it with some salt and everything like that. Guys, it's very important when you eat it not to overeat. Can I overemphasize that point? Remember to chew your food as many times as possible. Is it 32 times? So that um what happens is when you chew the food, mastication takes place, which is the grinding of the food and then the food is broken down for the best results in your body for those of you who have done science biology if you look you see the, the seasoning on top the, the tomato the the pepper and the onion this is onion right here and guys remember to like share and subscribe to the youtube channel it's a new channel but it was kicked off very well. The support is overwhelming. But let's not use overwhelming. Let's say the support is coming. I really appreciate the support. Look at that onion. I'm um, just, just staying up.
Okay, so let's let's try some of the the Parmian parties. I know last week in the island of Jamaica there was a hurt, um, earthquake, I think it was, what, 3.3, um, in magnitude, hope everybody was safe for now, and, and nothing really happened. Guys, so shout out to, to Kim. She's the person who actually courtesy for the breakfast this morning. She does some wonderful dishes. And check out check out the dumpling. So when you're making dumpling, you can actually make it in many designs. If you're very creative enough. Kim was actually very creative in, in doing some of these. So check out how that dumpling is twisted. This is flour. Flour that you buy to make cake and everything else she does knead it together with with your baking components and your salt and everything like that Let's not, let's not make this go to waste. Probably I can heat this up some more. Let's call me porridge. Guys, I hope you're having a good Sunday morning. You know, weekdays are not normally easy, so try to take it easy on the weekends. Try to relax, try not to get cumbered by things that are word, you know? So, when you're eating dumplings, there's no need to rush. Because as you realize, there is no juice in the setting. You can have your water or anything, but in terms of eating, you know, one of the things I would advise, and you can also always consult your doctors, is not to eat and drink. It's always wiser to eat first, drink after. In this case, the porridge, the porridge, what wasn't? It's not watery, so it has this thicker consistency which is good some people make their porridges you know um kind of moist and wet some people like uh, that it's like tomato tomatoes depending on how you like it in this case what you could have done is if you want it to be more moist um put it in the microwave for a minute or two depending on how warm it is for me this is good
Shout out to Gavin. You know, hope everything is going well, Gavin, wherever you are. Shout out to Sienna, Chavel, Felicia, Royal Aquina, Daniel Hammond. Thank you guys for tuning in. Original Jamaican breakfast, cornmeal porridge. For those of you who don't know, Tin Boom. <laughs> That's not the name of a, of a lady, Tin Boom. What we call Tin Market in Jamaica. Since we have it at this angle, let's just let's wipe it in a Let's just finish this dumping right here. It's, it's going to be a slow morning, guys. There's no need to rush. As you guys are preparing your breakfast, dear. Hope everything is going good. Hope God is blessing you guys. It's original tin mackerel from Jamaica. Shout out to Miss Jimmy Bryce. Hope everything is good. Not sure where you are at this point. Shout out to the Tuskegee fam. Mm. Guys, again, this looks like a lot of food, but do not overeat. As the channel progresses, we're going to talk about some health tips. We're going to talk about healthy diet as well. We're going to talk about how some plants are being used in the, in the field of cancer research. Um, plants, for example, like what we know as um, turmeric. Turmeric is actually used in the fight against cancer and many people do not realize that. It's a rhizome that's grown in Jamaica broadly. Shout out to Gabriel Murray. Shout out to Hasin Ali. <laughs> Guys, show some love. Subscribe to, to my channel on YouTube. So, Sunday morning doesn't have to be um, fried dumplings. It doesn't have to be call me porridge. It could be anything. Last week we had um, brown stew chicken, boiled dumplings, boiled bananas. Let's, let's have one more spoonful of the kami part. Trying to not make it messy. Right, let's try one more of these babies at the front right here. Another beautiful design. Um, courtesy of you know Kib and um, making some wonderful dishes. So that onion hanging out the side. But we, we can't make it hung up too long, we just have to deal with it. Hmm. It's, 
you say onion, piece drop off, but you can't make it go to waste. Finish up it. Keeping it clean as possible. Feel free to check out my other videos. Some of them are on the screen as you, as I'm going along. Guys, if you listen carefully in the background, you hear the the birds chirping. It makes for a beautiful Sunday morning. Um, no long talking. Taste of nature while we have a taste of. Let's check out what's in the news, guys. Let's check out what, what's in the news. Let's start with, you know, since it's a, it's a Jamaican style breakfast this morning. Let's start with, let's start with the Jamaican Guinea. Most of, most of you might know the Jamaican Guinea from Jamaica. One of the news sources there. Alright, so the first article that I'm seeing right here is entitled Deaf and Dynamic, No Hearing, No Problem for Dancers as they Target College Degrees. So, this is the article right here from Jamaica. So, let's see what it's saying. Damani Hughes, Christopher Phillips, or Christopher Phillips. Kimberly Barnes have quite a few things in common. They are in their 20s. They went to the same high school. They are studying dance at Edna Manley College of the Visual and Performing Arts. And all three are deaf. When this one the up caught up with the first year students who are multiple winners of the Jamaican Cultural Development Deaf Dance Competition they were still riding high from the fact that they were defined as that's very impressive guys shout out to Damani Christoph Kimberly you know great work on that part just an example of 
not giving up on it, the, the challenges that we face, guys. Now, let's look at some sports. In terms of the sports, it's your turn. Newcomers Mount Pleasant, Newcomers Mount Pleasant seek another big RSPL win. Let's turn it this way because you don't know you don't like how that look. All right. Here's some Jamaica news. Sports. It says. Having shot the sheriff last week in the form of the fine championships, Portmore United, Mount Pleasant FC will this week aim to cut down the deputy defending champions, Waterhouse, when both teams meet in 1-5. In 1-5 Red Stripe Premier League matches today. So shout out to Portmore United, Mount Pleasant Football Club. So what about the states? What's happening in the states? <laughs> Guys, check this out. 450 million. It says, how are 450 million the Vinci painting? Was the last in America and later found. Leonardo da Vinci's rediscoverable painting of Christ as the world savior, Salvatore, Salvatore Mundi, auctioned last year for a record 250.3 million. It, ha it has been owned by British kings and Russian oligarchs, but until now, no one knew much about the nearly half century spent last in obscurity in the US. That's interesting. How did it move from British kings and Russian oligarchs? And it came all the way to the US. That's interesting. Let's read the other paragraph. Guys, drop me a comment below to see what, tell me what, um, what content you'd like to, to hear about as I eat breakfast. Eating breakfast doesn't have to be about describing the meal or it doesn't have to be about talking. Most importantly, it doesn't have to be lusting after the meal, you know? You know, as you prepare your meal, we can have meals together. We can, you know, talk about important issues most importantly as I advocate always do not overeat we're just coming out having a good time talking you know let's continue fresh details have emerged about the Da Vinci's whereabouts and the unsuspecting Louisiana family who lived with the painting for decades before the pair of old master dealers bought it from their patriarch's estate sale in New Orleans in 2005 for less than $10,000. <laughs> That's interesting. So I'm thinking they may not have known that it was so valuable. The dealers Robert Simmons and Alexander Parrish have seen successfully lobbied the art world the art world for its re-authentication as a work by the Renaissance master. Very interesting. Very interesting painting. This is what the painting looks like. You can see right there. So obviously ended up here in the US through somewhere. Alright guys, let's look at this article from the Time Magazine. There are four big 
Personality types. Four big personality types. According to science. Let's see what this article is about. Personality tips. Personality. <laughs> personality tips. Personality tests are beloved by high school guidance counselors and self-help book authors, but less so by many scientists. There's controversy amongst them over whether clinical personality types exist at all. this to the side. A large new study published in Nature Human Behavior, however, provides evidence for the existence of at least four personality types. I thought there were 16 personality types. Average, that's one. Reserved, number two. Self-centered and role model. Interesting. That doesn't sound right. Because if that's the case, then a person who is reserved can't be a role model. I'm not sure I'm understanding. Each one is based on the extent to which people display five different major character traits, including neurotip neuroticism, extroversion, openness, agreeableness, and consciousness. Guys, let me, let me take a piece of this fish because I don't want to play up this food too much because I'm entertaining you guys, yeah? This is what the fish looks like. Original tin bone. But this series, you know, it's flash out. Let's see what so to Kevin. Okay, good, but where are you going to put all that food? <laughs> Shout out to Diana, this is the marks. It's a small ass poop. Probably can't eat it with some of this. Guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe. If this is your type of a channel, um, mukbang channels are mukbang as. You know, some people might not know. It's a channel where people just sit, eat, you know, during broadcasting. Some people, they focus more on, you know, how much they eat. I mean, that's good and all in terms of having, eating enough, but 
in the days, weeks, months ahead, by God's grace, we're going to focus also on you know, different foods, some of the experiments being done with, with herbs, with plants. contents of the food and everything else Guys, how many times, how many times do you chew your food? Alright guys, so, so this morning what we focused on was um, you know, dumplings. You know, it's Sunday morning, I'm pretty sure you guys have things to do as well. Not going to take up too much of the time. And then we had um, Tim Market. We're going to finish this off here. Um, it's already 34 minutes. Really appreciate you guys coming out to see what um, this morning's breakfast was about. Carmi Parts. Uh, we can also look at that in another um, video how it was made and in terms of the dumplings um, of course you know the fish you know gives you protein and some other things you know this is this is normally the flour that you use to bake uh, you roll it up you add your pepper you add your um, salt you add your your baking um, components and it rises after the fry so thanks you thank you guys <laughs> thanks you guys thank you guys for for watching again uh, appreciate the support remember to like share and subscribe check out the youtube channel it's called mukbang jamrock for those of you who do not know jamrock represents you know jamaica is another word for that and um you know see you in the next bit peace take care